What's up you guys? Welcome back again to your Hero Clicks headquarters. Today I've got this awesome new custom Hero Clicks box from Craftworks Forge. If you guys haven't heard of them yet, I highly, highly recommend going and checking out their Etsy shop. They have, in my opinion, the coolest and best looking Hero Clicks boxes around for you to carry your teams around in. You can get them custom made like I did, or they have several, you know, just regular generic versions you can buy for cheaper. I'll try to also include a link to their shop in the description below so you can check them out. Uh, this isn't like sponsored or anything. I just want to, you know, shout them out because they do some great work. But without further ado, I'm going to cut this thing open. I cannot wait another minute because I have been waiting a long time for this. If you guys do want a custom box, it's probably going to take a little while. It took me, I want to say like a month or two, give or take. I don't remember exactly. Um, he is pretty backed up on orders at the moment, I know. So it might take a little while, but I think it's well worth the wait. So let's take a look at this thing. Oh my goodness. What is this right on top? You get like little blueprints. I don't know if he actually includes these with every purchase or anything, but wow, this is freaking awesome. I love this. That is so cool. All right, so let's take a look at the box itself. It is of course very tightly packed in here to keep it nice and safe in its journey. And uh, let's just yank this thing out of here. Bah, there we go, oh man, lots of paper, lots of bubble wrap. But uh, yeah, that's great. You love to see good packaging for, uh, you know, your expensive orders and whatnot. Let's take a look here, unwrap this. I can't wait to see, oh man, yes. That looks freaking beautiful. Man, look at that. That red is so perfect. Uh, my, my custom logo, it's like raised and everything. That is so cool. If you can see that, that is freaking awesome. And then on the back here, um, we have some more paper to make sure that doesn't collapse. That's awesome. And yeah, I wanted to... Uh, I thought it'd be cool to include kind of my logo on the back here. Uh, just, yeah, that's so nice. So it's kind of like my full logo on the back, you know, when you're looking at it like this. And then, of course, the classic HCHQ right there on the front, red and black, little bit of white accents. Gotta love it. So let's get that bubble wrap off there. And oh man, this looks amazing. This feels amazing. Feels really nice and sturdy. And uh, yeah, let's see here. So this front part opens up and just pops off like that. Looks like it's attached by magnets. That's really awesome. And then on the inside here, you get your little trays. So this first tray, has uh, spots for all your figures. You can get, um, I, was it 15 slots? I think it was, yeah. Or uh, he also offers this new one with uh, some slots for the bigger ones, which I personally went for uh, because, you know, I thought that would be neat. And I was thinking, you know, if, if it can fit a double, uh, you know, a two by one figure, maybe it can still fit to Figures, I just got a couple random Wheels of Vengeance stuff over here, don't mind that. <laughs> um, maybe they could still fit too, maybe not. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it kinda, it kinda could, you know, if it's a little bit awkward, you could fit two there if you really wanted, if like it really needed to stick an extra uh, random figure there. But I just like this, you know, we got a lot of these new uh, double figures, double base figures with these motorcycles. I've been using these motorcycles on like every freaking team I've been making. And uh, you know, I've been using this Ghost Rider a lot recently too. So cool to see that. Uh, they fit so snugly in there. It's so nice to see. And uh, yeah, the, the little ones fit right there perfectly. That is super nice. So they all just fit snugly in there. And uh, you can just slide that in there. And on our second row here, oh, very cool. He included some little extra goodies as well. A nice uh, poison ivy thank you sticker. That's freaking awesome. Uh, and let's see, important. Be sure not to leave your purchased products in extremely hot locations, such as in an unattended car. This item includes plastic parts that will warp and distort if left in such an environment. All right, so I should keep that in mind and not leave it out here in the heat. Uh, do, you know, 
remember that stuff. And we got some cool Craftsworks Forge tokens. Very nice. I'm guessing potentially this QR code might lead you straight to their Etsy page. So maybe you can just scan that if uh, all else fails. But yeah, that's really cool. Oh man, I'm definitely gonna be, you know, using this a lot. So yeah, you can just keep all your tokens neatly there and they just pop out really easy. And you can store your dice in here, just like so. They fit snugly in there, my little Heroclix headquarters dice. And then of course you got the cards. So uh, again, we can just put our cards there. Easy to come out just like that. And you got some extra space here for random other objects and whatnot. So that's freaking awesome. Uh, and then last but not least, the bottom tray. Uh, he again had several different variations of this. You could get one that's like split down the middle. Uh, you could get one that has like a secondary compartment that like lifts out of this. So there's like double layers. Um, I was cool with just the big one. <laughs> I just wanted the big extra space because I plan to just dump all of my like terrain and stuff in here and you know, just extra random little objects and things as well. So that's freaking awesome. And you can kind of, you know, if you really wanted to, you can move these around however you want to position them in there, but they just slide neatly back in there like so. And then boom, just like that and uh, have an actual Heroclix figure in there for size comparison. It does fit nice and snug. You can wiggle it around. They won't fall all over the place. That's freaking awesome. Oh man, these things, 10 out of 10 for sure. Gotta love the custom logo there. If you guys have not already taken a look at them, I would definitely recommend checking them out. If you got the money, I would definitely recommend getting one of these because these are so freaking cool. They're not too heavy or anything, you know, pretty light. And uh, oh yeah, you guys didn't see like the sides and stuff. Looks pretty sweet. So yeah, uh, man, freaking awesome. Love this thing. 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10, 12 out of 10 even. Let me know in the comments below, you guys, if you have already picked one up for yourself or if you plan to in the future, are you working out some type of awesome custom design or are you just gonna grab one of the like generic ones that are also really great? Let me know what you guys think of my box and you know, just the boxes in general in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And if you guys would like to help support the channel even more, don't forget to check the link in the description for the Patreon or hit the join button down there for the YouTube memberships. Either way, for as little as $1 a month, you get entered into my monthly giveaways and get to see your name here in the credits with all these other awesome people. But that's going to do it for this one, you guys. Thanks again so much for watching. Till next time, this has been Hero Clicks Headquarters, signing off.